Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of A Closer Look brought to you by Innovative Solutions. I'm here with Andre Simmons from the men's soccer team. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a senior. I'm from Manchester, New Hampshire. I have four brothers, four sisters. My dad's from Jamaica. Uh, my mom's from New Hampshire. And my dad's kind of the reason why I started to play soccer and he's always my role model who I look up to. And that's okay. Well, that's awesome. That's the same with me. My dad's kind of, he's always been my personal coach, personal trainer. Um, so you previously, before you came to USC Aiken, you were previously committed somewhere else. So what ended up happening there and you coming to USC Aiken? Uh, I previously committed to Northeastern and things didn't really work out with me and kind of what was best for my future. Mm -hmm. So I discussed it with my dad and my family and then uh, Coach Ike went to the same university as my dad and as my high school coach from Brewster. Mm -hmm. So I kind of knew Ike and I've heard stories about him and mm -hmm. I was just excited to be in an environment where I knew somebody and I knew that somebody would be looking out for me as a person right. more than just a player. Right. So that was my next question. Did that kind of help your transition from high school to college knowing Ike? Did it make it a little bit easier? It made it a lot easier for me, but more so for my family as well, because they understood that even though I was far away, there was somebody here that was going to look out for me. Right. And I, I wasn't just going to be a player to help the university do right. whatever, but he actually cared about me as a Yeah, person. there's more of a personal connection there. That definitely would have helped me for sure coming into college. Um, so growing up as a kid, did you play any other sports besides soccer? Uh, yes, I played football when I was seven years old. I gave that up really fast. I was too small. <laughs> And then, growing up, actually, basketball was my favorite sport. I played throughout high school. I played at Brewster, where I went to high school mm -hmm. for a bit. But soccer is always my where I saw my future going. Right. So I kind of gave it up. But basketball is probably my biggest passion, uh -huh. and I love it. But soccer, I chose soccer. Nice. I've always said if I could play any other sport besides soccer, it would be basketball. But definitely had to stick to soccer. Struggled with the other ones. Yeah. Um, so you said. I mean, you have a big family. What was it like growing up with so many people in your family? Like, did they all play sports? Like, So, I grew up in my household. There was just my three older sisters and my older brother. Mm -hmm. um, no one, my only, my middle sister played sports. The rest mm -hmm. of them were like cheerleading and my brother was really into video games. Mm -hmm. But my dad was really the driving force in me playing okay. sports. There was no one before me that actually inspired me. Other than my cousin, but in my household, no one else okay. plays sports. Hmm. So you're a senior this year. Um, what's it like knowing that this is kind of your last year here playing? Uh, it's bittersweet. It kind of, I get to take in what's happening more. I'm kind of relaxed and not really rushing through the season or looking right. forward to playoffs or anything like that. Every game I take step by step and every minute step by step, I'm kind of mm -hmm. just relaxed and taking it all in. And yeah, it's nice to be the older guy and kind of give the younger players kind of an experience and show them mm -hmm. that it does go by really fast. So what's your time been like here at USC Aiken? Um, it was my freshman year, like most people, it was hard for me to kind of get settled in because I'm so close with my family, my mom and my dad, mm -hmm. so I'm the type to call them every single day. So that was tough at the beginning, but now that I'm here, like, I see Aiken as my home. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was good. So, what are you planning on doing after you graduate? Uh, the plan is to pursue, pursue playing soccer. Hopefully, I can make it. But there's always a there's always an if. But if I don't play, I, I want to go back to school and get my master's. Not sure in what, but I know it's <laughs> important for my future. But right after school, I want to play and then see where it goes from there. Okay. So, growing up, did you ever travel anywhere different to play soccer, or did you mainly play kind of close to home? Um, I played for Seacoast United and in the U.S. Development Academy. Um, there was one time where we traveled, I went to England with Seacoast twice, and we played in against England, Scotland, and Wales for like their boys clubs. Mm -hmm. So that was like my first experience of playing outside of the country and seeing the difference in styles of play and stuff like mm -hmm. that. 
But other than that, it was just playing in the U.S. and traveling across the U.S. That's so awesome. Like talking to like the men's soccer team, so many of y'all have been playing outside the country and have had a totally different experience playing there rather than um, the United States. I think that's an awesome experience. Um, so what was the transition like playing-wise uh, when you got down here to USC Aiken? What was the biggest thing you noticed? Biggest difference is for me was the physical part of the game. Um, playing in the U.S. Development Academy, the technical side and the speed of play was I was used to because mm -hmm. that's all the top players in the country. But coming here is you show up and you see a bunch of twenty-five year olds, some big guys. So that physical aspect it wasn't really part of my game. Mm -hmm. But working with Coach Ike and obviously over the years you kind of learn how to maneuver your way around it. That was probably my biggest thing. All right. So, so far, what are your thoughts on your season? Y'all have a huge roster. What's it like having so many people on your team? Um, it's different, especially this year because we had a big turnover. We have a lot of new guys coming in. And it's an experience. At first, it was kind of shaky, obviously, when you have a bunch of players that have never played together. Right. And a bunch of players from all different cultures, backgrounds. It's kind of hard to get an even ground. But now we're at that part of the season where we're closer than ever, and that's kind of the coolest thing because you get to see different cultures and you get mm -hmm. to take it all in instead of just yeah. having everyone just like you. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so cool. Y'all have so many different backgrounds, so much diversity on y'all's team. So going through the season, what are you most looking forward to the rest of the season? That's a tough question. Um, <laughs> obviously, we want to win and we want to go as far as we can in the season, but me as a senior and just, I'm looking forward to just every single day getting the chance to play college soccer because mm -hmm. we don't get to do this for a long time. So right. It's kind of just taking it in. That's what I'm looking forward to. Well, your passion definitely shows when you play, for sure. Um, well, wish you the best of luck on the rest of your season. Thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me. Um, guys, tune in next time to another episode of A Closer Look.